Today, let's try to understand what is deserialization in Java. First of all, if you remember, yesterday we learned about serialization, which is the process of converting a Java object to a byte stream so that we can write it into a file or we can transmit it over a network. Now it is deserialization, which means we need to convert byte stream back to the Java object. For this, we are going to invoke the read method. Now within the read method, we are making usage of file input stream and object input stream. And then we are invoking the method read object, which will convert our byte stream back to the Java object. And hence we are saying deserialized that particular object. On executing, you see whatever we have serialized, same value is getting deserialized. Now you will say for deserialization, do we need to implement anything else? The answer is no. You don't need to implement anything else besides serializable. The only thing is that you can deserialize only those objects which were serialized either by you or either by someone else. Do like the video if you learned something new today. Thanks.